Notice when this thing goes through thick grass, it kind of automatically speeds up. So, let's see if I can do this. Push the button in. It's really quiet. It's actually about same or a little bit less noise than the air conditioner, the fan on the air conditioner. So. With the first battery, we cut the front yard, the side yard, and part of the backyard. So let's go ahead and switch over to the other battery and see how far we can get. Okay, this one's it's kind of hot, kind of warm. This one. Supposedly it's good, I don't know, let's see. They've been sitting charged for a while, so I hope I didn't ruin it. Let's see here. Push this down. Hmm, I think that other battery is defective. Hmm, for some reason, it does not want to That one's dead. And that one's blinking it's like it doesn't want to work. So maybe I killed that battery by letting it sit. Dang it. All right, well, that's what you get for leaving your batteries charged up. So one's good and one's already bad and I only used it a few times, so gotta watch out for Ryobi batteries they're like one of the worst I think they make them to basically if you charge them up too much or leave them charged or leave them in the charger they won't work so one of them this is the mower I use maybe like I said half a dozen times and then I got a landscape guy and now only but one of the batteries work and they're both brand new so the mower's not too bad, but Ryobi batteries suck. <laughs> so, if you can uh, find a way to have someone rebuild the batteries and get something that's not Ryobi, you're probably gonna be better off. And like I said, this was the only one available, so I bought it and you know, I kind of regret it. It's a great mower, just the batteries suck. So, anyway, this is the 40 volt brushless 20 inch Ryobi with a single battery pack and then one one in storage so anyway thanks for uh watching and uh just be careful when you buy Ryobi, Ryobi products <laughs>